Hi guys, it's Tom from Something RS, and if you're wondering why I'm on the character creation screen, it's because there is a new tutorial which has just come out today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check it out and see just how good it is and compare it to older tutorials as there have been quite a few iterations of the new player experience. So I'm just going to start by creating a character. So you can randomize your look. Let's land on something really stupid. Well, that looks kind of normal. Strange looking boots, but okay. So I can change your gender and all that stuff. I'm just going to do this. And then we can have a random character name generated for us. Um, <laughs> 98 Summon Man. Nice. I'm going to keep that. And I'm going to say I'm 50 years old. I'm not, by the way. Just, yeah. And I'll just pause the video while I enter sensitive information. Okay, so I have just successfully logged in on my new account. And it brings me this message which says, Validate your email. Apparently you get more bank space, more, well, an XP lamp, a new title, and a free cape for validating. I think the title is the real, most of you should have this anyway. But let's just skip that for the sake of the video and see what the new experience is like. And I'd better log in first, hadn't I? Uh, just bear with me. Alright, it's telling me to use WASD. Come here, laddies. I need to talk to you. Come here, laddie. So uh, I can use WASD or the arrow keys to move the camera. Okay. And. You know, the camera was facing this way, but the guy who's talking to me was behind. Like. Over here. I need to talk to you. Yeah, from here, I can't see you, mate. So how. I, that's. Okay, that's. That's cool. I need to talk to you about something very important, laddie. Ooh. What's the matter? I had a dream, a vision. The world was on fire. All of Gilanor was consumed in flames. Oh, no. When I awoke, I knew I had to come and get you. You're special, laddie. You've always been special. You have talents and abilities beyond those of ordinary folk. Do I really? Gilanor needs heroes now more than ever. That's why you have to come with me to the mainland. Alright. Once we're there, I'll guide you to places where you can put your talents to use. If you don't, I'm afraid the vision I saw will come to pass. Oh dear, I'd better help but then. before we set off, we'll need to prepare you for the journey ahead. You're going to need some food and a decent sword for a start. That rusty old blade of yours wouldn't cut a loaf of bread. All right, let's go. I knew you wouldn't let me down, laddie. Is there anything you want to ask me before we begin? Let's just go for the sake right, of the video. Are, right, we are. Okay, follow Gundrick to the fishing spot. I'll do that. Okay. Wait. Do you hear that? Oh, what is that? It's a zombie. <gasps> oh shit. Sarah Doman's beard. Kill it. Left click. I shall do that, sir. And I'll use the arrow keys to move the camera because that's what the game told me to do. Yeah, I killed the zombie. What in the name of Armadil's eyebrows is that about? I've never known something like that to happen in Ashdale before. You've gained your first ability. Ooh, okay, abilities, right. Let's see how it deals with this. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? Ooh, what is it? Oh no, more zombies! And this one looks a bit like a priest or something. So let's click to attack. Left click or press 1. I will press 1 because clicking is noobish. Okay, I'm pressing one, and nothing is happening. Okay, apparently the cooldown doesn't seem to work, so 
that's something they should obviously fix. Oh, I gained a level. As you perform actions, you'll gain XP, and it will enhance your well skills. Well done, laddie. You fought bravely. The question is, where did those creatures come from? I've never seen anything like it in Ashdale before. Something is wrong. Very wrong. Indeed it is, sir. I'm not as young as I used to be, laddie. If there's danger coming, the task of protecting Ashdale will have to fall to you. Anyway, let's press on. For now, we'll stick with a plan of preparing you for the journey to the mainland. But we should keep an eye out for anything unusual. Alright, so let's continue following Gundrick to the fishing spot. Where I assume we'll learn about fishing. Right, time to do some fishing. Here's some bait to get you started. Okay, so it's telling me to click here. I'll do that. Okay, um, fishing rod is going through stone. It's interesting. Okay. Right, let's go and cook those fish. Cool, I gained a level. And it's just teaching me about the inventory. So now I assume we'll learn about cooking, since he mentioned cooking. Right, here we are. Find the fish in your backpack, then use the fire to cook it. Okay, so right click and select use. Okay, and click on the fire. And click cook. I'll do that. And hey presto, we've got a cooking level. They look awesome. nicely cooked to me. But don't eat them now. Keep hold of them until you really need them. But what does it do? Food's the best thing for restoring health, so you should always have a little bit with you in case you get into a fight. Ah, so that's what it's for. Now, let's get started on your new sword. That rusty old blade of yours isn't going to last much longer. Okay, just so you know, Gundrick, or Gudrick rather, this sword was not my choice. Just want to let you know. Now, let's get started on your new sword. That rusty old blade of yours isn't going to last much longer. Well, what have we here? Give it a poke, will you? Just to make sure it's dead. <laughs> Zombie cow. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And I'll use my ability. As the game taught me earlier. You really need to fix the uh, cooldown timer though. Because it's not showing at the minute. Die! There we go. Left click the items to pick them up. Ooh, coins, I'll take that. Sarah Doman's beard. Never in all my days have I seen anything like that. Whatever is happening here, it's more serious than I thought. You don't often see zombie cows, I'll give you that. Looks like you're going to need a new sword, laddie. Your old one is beyond repair. Let's head to the quarry so we can get the ore you need. Oh cool, mining. Let's do that. You're going to need some tin and some copper. Off you go. Okay, so I'll click on the copper rock to get copper. Okay, got some copper and now tin. But why do I need copper and tin? Why, Goodrick? Why? Good, you've got everything you need. Let's head over to the smithy. Let's 
Let's hope he tells me what all this is for. Right. The first thing to do is use the furnace to make a bronze bar. Okay. So I'm going to use this on the furnace. Oh, cool. Bronze, right. Very good, laddie. Now, use the anvil to make yourself a sword. And where's the anvil? Okay, use bronze bar. Oh, there's the anvil. Okay. Cool. And... Oh, I click on smith. Okay. Sweet. Well, look at that. That's a fine blade, laddie. Now all you need to do is equip it. And how do I do that? Let's click the sword to equip it. Oh, okay, right. Oh, I can view worn equipment on the worn equipment interface. Cool. Thank you, Wait Janet. Did you hear that? Oh no, not another zombie. Sounded like it came from the church. Let's go. Aye, let's go. I have to say I'm quite enjoying this. Prepare yourself, laddie. Something tells me we've got a fight ahead of us. Oh dear. I may have to use more than one ability. <gasps> dun dun dun. Ooh, a cutscene. Okay. Who's that? <gasps> uh oh. Zombie. I've gained another ability. Cool. The kick ability will allow you to stun a target. Oh, cool. So, let's try out our new kick ability. Press 2 to stun your opponent. Okay. Oh, sweet. I stunned a zombie. I'm so good at this game. Oh, the cooldown time is a somewhat working now. And there goes one zombie. Oh, and let's get out. Oh no! Kill her quick. It's telling me to use the slice ability, so I'll do that. But wait, they told me I can use my two ability to stun her. It is useless to resist. Oh wait, I'm low on health. How do I How do I gain health? That's right, we use food. As the tutorial told us earlier. Oh, where's she gone? There she is. This is no time to talk. I didn't click on you. Can you not feel my power? Sit down. Once you are dead, I will make you my slave. Oh, she's running away again. And there she goes. Interesting to say the least. Well, that was a fight to remember. You fought bravely, laddie, and you did me proud. 
I'm sure the townspeople will want to thank you for what you've done. Meet me at the harbour when you're ready to set off for the mainland. Okay, and where might the harbour be? Oh, look, an item on the ground. I shall take that. Hmm. Well, doesn't that look interesting? <laughs> Let's move on. So the arrow tells me to go over here. Where could I be going? Yay! Summon man, <laughs> you saved us, thank you. We love you, Summon man. Ah, there's Goodrick. Let's follow him. This boat will take us to the mainland. Just use the gangplank to climb aboard. I'm ready to leave. Just climb aboard the boat. I'll be right behind you. Awesome. And let's board the gangplank. I am ready. And now to enter the mysterious world of the mainland. With my stupid looking hat. And rather extravagant purple boots. This is the chat system. Never use it. Press the enter key, type and press enter again. So, hello YouTube. Subscribe, ah okay, since I am a free player. Let's talk to Goodrick again. This is Tabor, the westernmost province of the Kingdom of Asgardia. My house is just a short way from here. Let's go. All right, let's follow you. Right. The first thing I need to do is give you this. It's a contact gem. It'll allow you to talk to me even when I'm far away. All right, that sounds useful. If you need to talk to Godric, simply click this button. Toggle directions to your task on or off. Click this button. Okay. Click here to open the path system interface. Ooh, what's that? This is the path system interface. These are tasks Godric is going to guide you through. Oh, cool, okay. Details of each task are shown here. The rewards for each task are shown here. Q. Now, I need to tell you about the Lodestone Network. What's that? Gilinor is a big place, so most people use the Lodestone Network to get around. That is true. To travel between Lodestones, you'll need to use the Home Teleport spell. Don't worry, it's a doddle. Click here to open the lodestone map. This show oh this looks confusing. Okay. As your first quest is near Lumbridge, the Lumbridge lodestone has been activated for you. Okay. So I'll click on that. Oh what am I doing? This must be a home teleport spell. I wonder where it will take me. The minimap shows the area you're currently in. Left click the minimap to travel to that location. Oh cool, I can use the minimap to travel. That's that's pretty handy. Let's check out this contact mentor button. What do you need? Ooh, hello. What do I need? What am I supposed to be doing? Help! Use the home teleport spell to travel to Lumbridge, then head south to the cemetery. Once you're there, talk to Xenia. Oh, okay. Thank you. Best of luck, laddie. I enter you. Talk to Xenia. And that starts the uh, quest that I'm sure you've already done already. Alright, so what are my thoughts on that tutorial? Well, it wasn't too long. It only took about 10 minutes or so, I believe. And... It was nice and interesting, we got to kill some zombie cows and some 
really interesting boss and we got an interesting looking hat from this boss. I still can't really tell what that is. But anyway, and we also have this path system which seems to be sort of the way to guide new players around the game. And the first thing it's telling us to do is the Blood Pact quest, which, as I said, we've already done that in our main accounts. And we have a choice of tasks, but we don't seem to be able to pick anything beyond this. Although, it's taking us on quests, which is good, because quests are nice and interesting. And the stories are good, I believe. And it tells you what you get from doing these things. And you can turn it off entirely if you want to. And with this contact mentor button, you know, if you're ever lost, you can just ask for help. And that's pretty damn cool. So, I have to say, nice job Jagex. Well done, big thumbs up from me. And let's hope this brings more people into the game. As it's a very good one, as I'm sure we can all agree. Oh, and I almost forgot, let's check out the new mini-map. Not mini-map, sorry, the big world map. As you can see, it loaded instantly. Just to show you that that wasn't edited, I'll just click on it again. There we go, and I have a random marker there for some reason. And if we go over to the members areas, it tells us that we need to be a member in order to go there, which is pretty nice. And um, we can still zoom out. This is pretty damn cool, I have to say. Nice job, Jagex. I like these updates that go back to old content and revamp things that very much needed work, like the tutorial. As, you know, before the troll invasion sort of Burthorpe tutorial, it was not very interesting and it was very sort of restrictive, you couldn't go out of Tavoli unless you turned off the tutorial which was very hard to do. But now we have this contact mentor system which is a lot nicer and less intrusive and we can just go and do whatever we want in the world and that's pretty good. So 10 out of 10 from me on this and I'll see you guys in the next video.